Well, hi there, guys. I was down and go outdoors today because I'm going to walk tomorrow. So I needed to pick up a new pair of waterproof trousers and, of course, left it to the very last minute. And the only piece I could get to quickly was go outdoors. So hey -o. But while I was there, I did see this on a special offer, which is the OEX Takana Solo Stove Set. Which, if you're familiar with the jet boil, you pretty much know what this is. It is a one litre size solo pot, pretty much like a jet boil. It's uh, designed and engineered in the UK, but made in China. And when they mean designed and engineered, they pretty much mean copied a jet boil. Um, it comes in this nice, natty little kind of carry case here. It all kind of folds together, just like the jet boil does. And inside there, there is also room for all the attachments and a 230 gram canister of gas. Now, it's quite tight when all that's in there, okay? So don't be expecting a lot of wiggle room in these things. The closure is this kind of uh, braided wire and these two kind of olive uh, beads at the end. Now, they've been crimped on as weakly as they possibly can, okay? They are crimped on, but they're not going to be much use for holding stuff. They will pop off, whether it's this one there or that one there. One of them is going to go at some point if you overfill this and try and close it down. Now, neoprene sleeve on the outside of that helps insulate the fluids. Pretty sturdy handle, locks in place. The lid's just a bit kind of plasticky and a bit rubbishy feeling, but you know, it's 35 quid, what can you expect? Inside here you've got a few things that you can you get with it as standard. Of course you've got a ignition unit, which you screw your gas canister inside of, and that sits on there, it's all very nice. And you also get a stove steady thing, gas canister steady thing with a few different Kind of holes in the sides there so you can get various gas canisters will fit that and this one fits in there quite nicely okay and um, that fits on there this slides in over the top locks into place and it will boil a litre of water in about three minutes which is pretty good and if all you're interested in doing is boiling water for cups of coffee and pot noodles then this is the system for you it's dead easy to use and um, it also has another attachment that if you do fancy doing something a bit more exotic than, you know, a Bombay bad boy and a cup of coffee, you can slip this in the top there and then put any other kind of attachments you want on there, like a normal kettle or a pan or whatever you want, and you can use it as just a standard stove. So if your mate's kind of run out of gas and needs to use a stove, he could use that for whatever he's cooking, um, if you want it to be helpful to your mates. Um, so yeah, 35 quid. It's not bad. It's not the lightest piece of equipment I own. It is 850 grams all in with the gas canister. It comes apart and all kind of fits together so you can get it back in the, the container. Having learned from bitter experience, I can tell you the easiest way to do that is to wait until that's cool, turn it upside down, make sure that fits in there nicely, and then push that in there like that rather than trying to get it the other way around because it just never fits in properly and that way you can then get your gas, gas canister in that if you're going to take it and use it fits in there too and then you can get the lid on there too uh, it's still a snug fit that'll hold it there if you want to put that bead on you can but you know if you force that that bead is going to pop that is the weak link there um, and there we go 35 quid 850 grams. All you lightweight backpackers out there would never be interested in this. However, I don't care. Um, it's 850 grams. It's not really that heavy. What are you taking? You're going away overnight. You've got a sleeping bag or a roll, that, some dried foods. It's not bad. Now, in comparison, I've got my first aid kit, which is even bigger than that but weighs about 850 grams as well. And it is ridiculous as a first aid kit, it really is. It's got paracetamol, it's got brufin, it's got antihistamines, it's got burn cream, it's got everything that you'd need for dealing with nettles and midges and a hangover. And it's got a knee brace because one of my knees went at one point, so I thought it'd be handy to have a knee brace with me. It's got some compression bandages for dodgy ankles, KT tape, it's got everything that you need to deal with some sort of a sports related injury on the field to get you down off the side of a hill, basically. Um, it's got thermal blankets and stuff like that in there and a couple of ponchos and stuff if you meet people that are cold. Because it's not just a first aid kit for me, 
I use it as a first aid kit for everyone that's in the group I'm traveling in, whether it's just myself and my family or whether it's myself and my friends, whether it's an extended group that are going away. I know if I've got this, I can pretty much cope with anything. OK, so I'm going out tomorrow with these. This goes me whenever I go a walk that I need a bag. This comes with me. So those two are going to be fitting inside an 18 litre rucksack and not leaving me an awful lot more room, to be quite frank. But we'll see how we get on. Because um, this with the overalls and some food is pretty much all you need. But that's all you need for a day hike anyway. Um, I will be upgrading to a 25 litre pack soon. Hang about for that. We'll give you a gear review of that as well. We're going to do a long term review of this. Once we can actually get back into the bothies and we can spend a couple of nights there, it's going to be invaluable for heating up various bits and pieces and having a bit of a giggle with. Um, and we'll kind of show you that on the field and give you a proper review in about a year's time, see how we got on with it. Unless, of course, it's so chunky that it breaks within the year. If it does, I'll be very disappointed. But then again, it was only 35 quid as opposed to 110 for a really big jet boil. So, yeah. Okay. See you soon, guys.